after hundreds of hours of working on SAT material for you and making all these videos, there's still one problem. There's not enough SAT material. And so I've been on a quest, a quest to find the best SAT material for you. And I've done it. Hello, my people. My name is Meacham. I'm your college counselor. I have found 20 practice tests for the SAT that simulate the digital SAT perfectly. These are the best practice tests that I have come across, and I want to share them with you for two reasons. One, because I genuinely think this is good material for you to check out, and two, because the SAT Crash Course is sponsoring this video. But before I get to that, I want to back up just a little bit. The digital SAT went into effect internationally in 2023 and there was basically no material for students to use. The reason College Board did this is because international students, we can use them for one year to buy time for our best friends at the book publishing companies like Kaplan and Barron's and Pearson. But the problem is the new SAT is not in a book. It's on your computer. And so if you're going to practice for the digital SAT, you need to do so in a digital environment. Like it doesn't make sense for you to sit down and circle answers and write in a book when you're not going to do that anymore on the real test. So I kept looking because honestly, I don't feel like the books were really going to be a good solution for you guys. And then I got an email from Chris over at the SATCrashCourse.com asking about the possibility of sponsoring some content on this channel. But of course, I would not say yes to this until I went in and tested it out for myself. And so I'm going to show you some of my reactions to my first ever practice test on the SAT crash course. Logged in and all I got to do is go into classroom and you'll see here that I have two different tests. I have practice test eight and practice test 18. I have not done any of this yet. 32 minutes. That is, that is correct. Eliminator mode. Yep right there. Okay. That works just like it should. All right. This feels really legit. At this point for my money, I'm going here. I, I would rather be with SAT crash course at the moment. And I'm saying this before anybody paid me to say it so far, they're getting like an 8.5 out of 10 module two. Let's see if it steps up the difficulty after my crushing it of module one. It's hard to say this one. Like one of these focuses on the social, one of these focuses on the economic side of it. Oh, that was a tricky, good question. Oh, now we got more notes. Okay. So there, there's a little bit of an increase in difficulty on the second module here because they've added some notes. They made it a little denser. All right. I like that. I didn't answer number two. I feel like SAT crash course so far is on par with like my level of stuff. The test feels really legit. Now I did notice a couple of questions here and there that I didn't like. And you drew a line to it. Like where they intersect. I mean, this is a really easy question. I don't know. This one I disagree with because furthermore, the difference can sometimes come down to a single play or decision. Yeah, that's a fine line. This is the consequence. Success and failure comes down to, comes down to implies consequently to me. I don't really see why furthermore would be right. So I'm going to disagree with that one. So what I'm going to do is actually help them out with the quality assurance part of the process, help them make these questions even better so that when you take their practice tests, you're getting the closest thing to a real college board test. The quality of the questions, the distribution of the questions, it all felt very real to the digital SAT. The tests are even adaptive with a hard module and an easy module, depending depending on how you do on the first module, just like the real thing. But there was still one more thing that was bugging me. You know, I went to the SATCrashCourse.com site and I saw that they, you know, have one practice test that you can buy for like $20. And I thought it would be nice if you guys could get at least one test for free before you decide to pay. And so we're going to do that by working together. I've given some of my material to these guys here at the SAT crash course so that they can turn it into a real simulated digital SAT test. A lot of you guys were asking me when I was going to be able to like put together my questions to make a full practice test. And I have the questions, but I just don't have the technology. These guys have the technology. So we're going to put our stuff together and you're going to be able to go to the SATcrashcourse.com and take a free practice test using my questions. And then if you're interested in, you know, maybe buying some more tests from them so that you can continue to practice, they have different prices available. You can check them out on the website. They have a price for like one test, but you can also buy a pack of several tests or even all of the tests that they have for like a big discount. 
discount. And if you use the referral code SCORE, you're also going to get a 10% discount on all of the tests on the website. Seriously, if you're looking for SAT practice, I cannot recommend anything else as much as I can recommend the SAT crash course. Like, they're the only guys that have 20 tests, tests that are really similar to the digital SAT with the exact same features as the digital SAT app Blue Book. I mean, you can use eliminator mode, you can highlight stuff, the calculator's built in, you can go back and forth and review your questions. Like, it is a almost perfect copy of what Blue Book does, which means that you're gonna get a really realistic simulation when you take those practice tests. And if you use the referral code SCORE, you help this channel out a little bit because honestly, monetization is nice, but it really only puts a couple dollars in my pocket every day, and it would be really, really cool if I could like, you know, get paid when you guys do stuff. But ultimately, I just wanted to make sure that you guys have access to the best material possible, and that's why I'm gonna be helping the SAT crash course to make their tests better. I'm putting my material up there so you can get a free practice test, and you're gonna get discounts by going through SCORE using the referral code SCORE. If you're still not convinced and you wanna see what a practice test looks like from start to finish, I'm gonna do a live stream before the digital SAT of October so that you can see just what it looks like when I take a practice test on the SATcrashcourse.com and you can also laugh at my terrible ability to do math problems. Oh, I know this. I know this. I know how to do this math. This is 70, so it should be 110 because that's triangles. Yep, 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 yep. You'll probably see a really high English score and a really, really bad math score, so hey. I'm also planning on doing a live stream where I check people's essays, kind of like I did last time when I wrote my own essay. I'm also going to do some live streams to write supplemental essays for a lot of universities in the United States so that you can see how I approach those. So subscribe to the channel and hit those notifications so that you know when I'm about to go live and you can be there and ask questions. And if you've got some essays that you want me to check, send them over because I like looking at your work and I can help you guys make it better. I just want to give a big thank you to the SAT Crash Course for sponsoring this video and for being willing to be so collaborative and like flexible with me. And you know, they haven't told me what to say or anything at all. They just said, hey, check out our material. And if you think it's worth it, like talk to us about a sponsorship deal. And that's exactly how I want to work here on this channel. I'm not going to just recommend whatever to you guys. If I don't think it's good, you're not going to hear about it here unless I'm trashing it, right? So. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.